In this video, we are going to get started building the user interface for our plugin. And we're going to use uh, an application, uh, Qt Qt Designer. Uh, it comes packaged with QGIS. And I'll show you where we can find that. Open up your file explorer. Go to your install of OSGO4W. And in the bin folder, there's going to be a batch file. It might take me a second to find it here. Let's do this by name. And it's called QGIS. Dash designer .bat. Um, you can also search for it, which might be a little easier. And it pops up right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to open that batch file, and this will open Cute Designer. Have to give it just a minute here. Okay. So here we have uh, Cute Designer, and this is going to allow us to design a GUI. What I want to do is I want to open a dialog. When we created our plugin, we had a, a dialog that was already created. So let's click open. And I'm going to navigate, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to navigate to where I created that plugin. So mine was in my code folder in Python, QGIS, and buffer clip. And now I have this buffer underscore clip dialog base. That's my QEY file, that's my user interface file. I'm just going to go ahead and open that right up. And you can see I have my user interface right there, and I can adjust it and do all kinds of things here. Okay, so I'm going to drag these down here. And you'll notice when I click on these, it tells you what it is. It's a button box. I might have an OK button, a cancel button. We might get rid of that eventually. For now, we'll just leave it. Now, let's talk about what we need in this UI. We're going to need uh, an option to select a layer uh, as our input, our input vector layer, we're going to need something to select our input raster layer. We're going to need something to select our, to specify our output buffer, and we're going to need something to specify our output clipped raster. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to start putting things on here, um, and we can worry about what they are later exactly. So I'm going to grab some tool buttons. Um, I'm going to grab four of these tool buttons. Okay. Um, the other thing I want is called a line edit. So I'm just going to, I can search up here. I'm going to grab a line edit. I'm going to grab two of these. Um, and then I want to combo box I think that's what we want yeah we want two combo boxes okay and we're gonna throw some labels up here in a sec okay so let's grab some labels we're gonna grab four labels and we also need to specify our buffer the width of our buffer. So let's grab another label. Let's grab like a, a spin box. So a double spin box for our buffer. Okay. So that gives us some um, elements to work with. I'm going to go ahead and start filling these in. So this is going to be our input vector layer. We'll just call it input vector. And this is going to be our um, input raster. And here we want our um, output buffer. Okay. 
see here we want our output raster. And here we're going to put buffer distance. And this will just be in map units. Uh, we can look into that a little later, but we'll say map units for now. Okay, and so let's put our, uh, grab these things together, we'll just slide them up here. Let's actually put our buffer distance by the input. Um, output buffer, output raster. Okay. That goes with that. That goes with that. That goes with that. So this is kind of a mess right now. Uh, we can do some things here. We put these in a vertical layout. Uh, we want to probably break that layout now, but they're all lined up. Um, we can do the same thing. Well, let's do this. Let's put these in a horizontal layout. And let's put these in a horizontal layout. And let's put these in a horizontal layout. So it can be a, oops, wrong one. Slide it out horizontally. And then we'll do the same thing with these here. So it can be a little tedious getting this all lined up. Um, but we're getting there, okay? So what we're gonna do is this is good enough I'm going to clean this up a little bit on my own, so you don't have to watch me do it, and you can clean it up as you see fit, but this will be good enough for what our purposes are. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to name these. Um, I'm going to do CB in vector, and I'm going to do this TB in vector. I'm going to need to refer to these later in the code and so it's easy to have it's best to have a, a good naming convention that you'll be able to remember and so I'm just going through and naming these TB for tool buttons CB for combo boxes And I'm trying to name them the same as the inputs and outputs. And this is a line edit. So I'm going to name this LE out buffer TV out buffer LE out raster. Out raster. We don't need to worry about the labels. Um, they're just going to be there to label things, so we're not going to worry about those. Um, so here we've gone and we've laid out our dialog. Uh, we still need to get the code in on those buttons and do a little fixing up. But that's how you get that dialog set up. Um, go ahead and fix yours the way you like to see it on your own, and I'll do the same with mine, and we will come back and do some more work uh, getting this functional.